Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to Part 61 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Honestly, I think I'm cursed with bad luck, because as soon as I stop recording Part 60, I got a flame shield on the first try! In fact, I used the same thing with Terra. First attack, Outsider sliced in millions of pieces. Or in the game's case, three. Okay, in order to find Phoenix Cave, you have to go north of Zen. You know, where they f say that the mountains form a star? Well, it's right here in this very spot. You gotta press B to land inside that little hole. Now the thing is, what makes this very different is you have to form two parties. They don't have to be all of four, but of course that would be the smart thing to do. In fact, Terra and Celeste will be captains of their own team. As for Terra, I'll put in, say, Shadow, uh, Edgar, and probably put in, say, would be a good choice. I think, uh, I don't want to put in Sabin, because that'll leave Team 1 a bit overpowered. I'll probably go with, say, um, yeah, I think I'll go with Setzer on this one. As for Celeste's team, she'll have Sabin, Cyan, no, not Cyan, probably put in Mog, that'd be a good choice. And I can only choose one more, and definitely ain't Gogo or Umaro, no offense to them. I'm probably gonna go with, say, either Cyan or Realm, or even Strago. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Strago on this one. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. There. So these are my two captains. In case the battles get a bit too much, Party 2 will be alright. Can't say the same about Party 1, though. Have to rely on your own skills. Okay, let's get you re-equipped. Uh, partisan, be good. And let's see. Flame Shield be a good choice. The Genji Helm and Force Armor. And should I go with Force Armor? Yeah, I'll go with Force Armor. I already got like two more. As for Setzer, I think I'll give you the fixed dice. I don't worry about the damage being so low because, well, the fixed dice does not d determine damage or strength, it's determined by luck. Trio of dice that deal more damage the high they r higher they roll. And if you get, like, triples, you get, like, a multiplier in damage as well. Okay, for shield, I think I'll go with... Flame Shield. No, actually, I'll go with Thunder Shield. Be a good choice. Uh, Circlet be alright. And... Genji Armor. Okay, that's Team 1. That's a pretty good setup. Let's see who's close to leveling up. Uh, Shadow and Edgar are. Okay, Edgar, why don't you equip Gilgamesh? Uh, Shadow, I'll probably give you something related to magic. Um, let's see, Valagar Manda. Terra will get Zona Seeker. And Setzer, you'll probably get... Well, depending on how close you are to leveling up, up, I'll probably give you Zona Seeker next. Well, let's go through the relics. Don't worry. It takes time to prepare this. I know. Maybe instead of the peace ring, I'll give you the amulet. I don't want to give this team another ribbon because, well, that takes away a ribbon from party two. Now, let's see. Probably a Gigas Glove would be a good choice for Edgar. And yeah. Actually, a Dragoon Boots be good too. Instead of the Gigas Glove, give you an amulet, because there's some enemies there that can cast Zombie on you. Setzer, since the Master Scroll does not negate damage from the fixed dice or give you a penalty for it, you'll have that. Then I'll consider another amulet. Just to keep it on the safe side. So in that case, Terra and Setzer will be in the back. 
Now let's get this started. And now let's go to party two! Great, now I gotta go through more equipment. You're not having the Zantet Sukin, you're having an Enhancer instead. And the shield is alright. Keep the Oath Veil on. Or, no, actually, Mystery Veil, go with that. Minerva Bestier is good. This is good too. Oh, that's right, Edgar took the Partisan. So I'll give you the Heavy Lance. Actually, I'll give you the Gladius. And you get a Flame Shield. You get a Red Cap. And let's see, I'll give you the Gaia Gear. And Strago, you're alright. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Ooh, Mog is very close to leveling up. Very close. So I'll give you Raiden. You're close to learning quick, too. Let me double check everything. Celeste is close to leveling up. As far as the espers go, I'll just swap them out whenever I'm on a team. In the meantime, I can probably take the espers off of team one, but they're alright right now. Ooh, Trisha! Okay, here's our first new enemies. Face, Zeviak, and Necromancer. Necromancers suck because they like to turn you into zombies, which is no good. So I'll have to start things off with Banish, and have Mog use Rays on one of the Necromancers. Actually, I was better off waiting for Strago to be done. Okay, I targeted the right Necromancer anyway. Be careful with Face, because whenever it's attacked, it may counter with Thousand Needles. And it also has Smirk at its disposal, too. If you use Ice Attacks, you can easily take it out like Blizzaga. That's if you got high magic anyway. Ooh! Ah, lots of experience. Okay, in the meantime, I'm probably gonna have to take this stuff off. Well, for the Espers, anyway. It gets very annoying, I know, but I'll, we'll deal with it. Oh, Setzer didn't even have one on anyway. I'll just leave them here for now. Ah, that was a trap. My ass! And as for the spikes, they do around 400 damage whenever you touch them. So be cautious. Try to avoid spikes as much as you can. You know, just for the goodness of your feet. Up oh, here are some new enemies. Chaos Dragon, Ouroboros, and Sea Flower. The Chaos Dragon doesn't attack much, but when it does, it's devastating. Alright, let's see what Raiden can do. Hopefully Jin, Jin Zantetsuken works. How many does it kill? Wait. Aw, just two. Close enough. The thing about Chaos Dragon is every second turn it may have a chance of casting Incinerate. And that move freaking kills! Like, it literally kills. Hit by that, you're facing death. It kills. It's very devastating. Mog learned quick, nice job! Did I forget to put Zona Seeker on Celeste? I think I did. <sighs> Damn it! Uh, who's close to leveling up? Okay, Strago is. So you get Valagar Manda. And as for Sabin, you'll have to get Zona Seeker. Then again, I just put it on Celeste. I know, it takes away seconds of your time, but I like to have very powerful characters. I suppose this is the way I gotta go, is it? Oh, I see a switch! There, and I don't have to worry about that anymore. I got the Wing Edge! Nice little weapon for Locke. Once I get him. Okay, now Team 1 can take over. Take the Espers off. 
No, not, not that. Sadly, I don't have enough that boosts magic. And magic is the stat I mostly increase. Alright, who's close again? I keep forgetting how Edgar and Shadow are. Let's go back to the same setup. Yeah, Gilgamesh is better. So I can learn quick either way. Right, this is the way I need to go, right over here. Okay, it's time to test out that new fixed dice, shall we, Setzer? Nice. Do a nice bit of damage if you get a lucky roll. <laughs> Look at that, too! Devastating on the Necromancer. Didn't have a chance. I really should have bought some more Fuma Shurikens. It's too late now. This is why I'm going to keep the Master Scroll on Setzer if I use him. The more he levels up, the stronger the fixed dice gets, too. Because remember, your level is in play when it comes to the damage calculation. Keep that in mind, and you'll be fine. Edgar and Shadow gain a level, nice job! But that's to be expected. Since I'm gaining over a thousand experience a pop, that's pretty good! Okay, now I gotta take this crap off again. Actually, on second thought, what I'm gonna do... ...is I'm probably gonna put the Malulu's Charm on Mog. So Terran's party would be the only ones doing the fighting. Unfortunately. There's another enemy you find here too, but we'll get to that in a moment. One that you can actually steal a rare relic from called the Celestriad. It's called a Galiptes. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's basically a giant-ass bird. That's all you need to know. That way I don't have to swap out my espers as much. We just keep them on one party. Empty. Troll chest. Jeez, I was thinking, if I'm gonna be gaining levels like every five or six battles, that shows how under-leveled I am at this point. Alright, let's see if it's down here. I don't think I've been down here before. Oh, great, more of the lava. Yeah, switch! I mean, chest, that has nothing in it. Um... Okay, that's interesting. Let me stay here. Let me check that out. It's down this way. Okay, that's where I landed. Ah, so I'm guessing this is where I can hop across. Interesting little intricate puzzle you got. I like it. It's very clever. Uh, but did this work for the better? Yeah, I think it did. But I didn't really notice anything special except for on the other side. Okay, I get it now. And move that to the left. But was that what I wanted? Well, no choice now. Okay, let's take on these sea flowers. Oh my god, five of them! Okay, Shadow, why don't you use, say, a Lightning Scroll? There's a reason I boost your magic, rather than your physicals. And this is it. Wow, still alive. Have to rely on the dice. Go! Dice roll! Oh, wait, this ain't Yu-Gi-Oh! Ah, less targets for Terra to Thundaga. Well, three of them, actually. So yeah, it's nice to know that the fixed dice work the same amount even in the back row. Therefore, Setzer won't have to worry about physical attacks as much. So I guess we'll go back this way, to the right.
Oh, here's a new enemy, Climenus. The things that make these enemies different is they don't absorb fire like the other ones. But they do love to use it. Therefore, just using Holy might do the trick. Because I believe that's what they're weak to. As for Edgar, why don't you give him a good drill? They're women. They like it. They like being drilled. Not with a metal drill, but you get the idea. I'll just let Setzer take care of the rest. Nice damage! Unfortunately, you have a greater chance of getting a 1 or a th 1 to 3 rather than 4 to 6. But anytime you get around a 4 to a 6, the damage shows. Yeah, Setzer and Terra gained a level. Good job. Good job. Okay, so Shadow and Edgar are the closest. Therefore, I'll take this off and put it back on Shadow. I usually put the magic on Shadow because his physicals, when it comes to throwing stuff, is already quite strong. Ah, sweet! Edgar learned Valor! Good job, Edgar. Really good job, and got nothing. <sighs> Empty promises. Ah, here we go. Now we can get over to this side. Alright, Edgar and Shadow gained another level. I say by the time I finish this dungeon, some of them might reach level 40. If I keep this up. Wait, did I put this back on Terra? No, I didn't. That's okay, I kept this on Setzer because he's closest to gaining a level. That's what happens when you only hit level 29, my friend. My albino one. Okay, let's continue. I should get to that switch over there. Aha! That's what I needed it for. Did I just troll myself? You know what? Screw the damage. I'm taking the chest. Troll! Okay, this time, do not stay on the chest. There we go. That's better. Now we can get across. I'll admit, I really, really like this dungeon. It's very intricate and creative. Remember, when we get to Kefka's Tower, we gotta be in teams of three. So imagine this with three teams instead of just two. Okay, I'm not gonna save yet. Instead, I'm going to exploit a little save bug. Because my party did not move away from the save point, in fact, the team that's not on the save point can use a tent and save anyway. So there we go. I just exploited a little trick. Okay, now I'll save. Okay, I think now would be a good time to continue. Well, actually, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be controlling this party. Do I go this way, though? Ah, uh, just let me hit this. Okay, won't be able to do anything with it yet. Because that's still water. Now, now that the spikes are out of the way, Terra's party can get across safely. The scary thing is, despite hardly using Setzer at all since getting the airship, he's doing more damage than pretty much my entire party right now. That is a scary thought. Really, never, ever underestimate the Master Scroll and Fixed Dice. It can be a very broken pattern. Now let's continue and go this way. Back in the lava room. We, this is fun and very dangerous. Okay, I see some treasure over there. How am I gonna reach it? Uh, do I go this way? Yay, treasure! Oh. <sighs> I must be leaving scars in my soul after all this. Hey, switch! I wonder what it does! Yeah, it takes care of the water. Hello! Now all the lava's dried up. 
cool down. So what happens if I go back? Will some things be different? Probably. Let me check it out. Uh, there's got to be a way to get over there. I'm pretty sure there is, but I don't think it's in this room, though. I'll have to come back to that later. Okay, one more fight, and then I'm going to stop the video. Then we'll continue this later on. Uh, Setzer don't use it yet. Instead, let's take out as many as we can. And then whenever it's left after Terra's Blizzaga, you do the rest. Oh, Chaos Dragon, you're out of luck. Okay, you got lucky there. And there. And a little bit there. Not so much there. You still died. Look at all the experience I gain! It's scary! Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, we're gonna finish this. See ya.